All right. This is going to be a hotel tour of the Residence Inn by Marriott in North Portland, Oregon. Let's get started. Looks like here you have a basketball court. I guess we'll do amenities first. And there's the lobby. Uh, pool's all covered up for the winter and the hot tub. So that's the pool area, and then there's some seating out here. Fire pit over there. More seating. Oh, I thought those were balconies for a second. Those right there. The fireplace. Some chairs. Now we're gonna go inside. Let's the room key. I'll, first I'll show you the, the room key it looks like. Residence Inn by Marriott. Let's insert it. Now the door unlocks. This is the back door instead of the front door. So you walk in here, you have the lobby. It's a very nice lobby. This is kind of your seating area right here. Your like lobby seating area. And you have some coffee and some, looks like lemon water. And drinks, this is what you could call it. And over here, it's not breakfast time right now, it's more like dinner time. So this is the breakfast area where you come and get your breakfast, but this is currently closed because, again, it's dinner time, not breakfast time. I really like the lighting in this hotel lobby. It's more seating, painting, and a toaster. Now, is there a fireplace? Um, some more seating over here. And that looks comfy. Like a little nook right here. Some tour tourist things. Then you have a PC right here. I think this is for guests to use. And a printer. Here's a big TV. Now, some more seating over there. Yeah, I really like the lighting. <laughs> and here's the front desk. We're not going to get the people behind there on camera, but we'll just get a look at the front desk. Very nice modern. And then over here is, I guess, the market, where you have some snacks that are for sale. Here's your fire alarm system. This is the front door right here, so this is the door that's unlocked. Looks like you have a Bose sound system. Some artwork. Now, hmm, left or right? Let's go left first. Restrooms and some drinking fountains. That's the Mount Hood conference room. ETM. Hmm. I hear a Schindler motor. I wonder why. Mount Hood A. And then there's an exercise room that's open 24 hours. No one's in here. I think I gotta insert the card the other way. Yep. 
What the? Oh, that means I can go in. Mm, small, but I'd say it's really good. I like the wallpaper. Alright. Let's make sure this closes. It doesn't it close. There we go. I don't know what's down here. It looks like an exit. Oh, Mount Hood B. Must be another conference room. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything down on the other side of the hotel. It might just be rooms. There's another elevator down here. That's the employee lounge in there. Service area. Elevator motor room. Elevator. And that looks like just rooms down there. Stairs and exit. All right, I guess now we're gonna take the elevator up to the room. Guess what? It's a Schindler. Our room's on the fourth floor. Or it's not our room, it's our, it's uh, my aunt's room. My uh, aunt is planning for this. Fans, there's a loud fan in this one, so you can't really hear the motor. Here at four. We're in room 412, which is this room right here. Room 412. Then we're gonna look at the entryway. It's a very nice entryway. A very nice knocker. Now we're going to enter the room. Oh, that scared me. Um, so here we go. What the? There we go. All right. Now in here is the room. It's a very nice room. Oh, let's start with door features. So here's your door. Very nice door. Then you have your safety latch, a deadbolt, uh, I don't know if it works, hopefully it does, people, I don't know who's calling, and here's your emergency evacuation, evacuation map, I just made a verbal typo, XD, here's the like, uh, privacy please thing. Let's see if I can get it back on there because I got the room key in my hand. There we go. And then this room comes with a full sized kitchen, which is awesome. So you have a full, full size refrigerator, stove and oven, microwave, dishwasher. And a sink. You even have a paper towel dispensal. Dispenser. What is it with me and words today? LOL. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that light. It just looks like it would be in something from the 80s. Yeah, it doesn't look up to this date of modernness. So then here's your dining table right here with stuff. Here's your fire sprinkler. And this is actually a two bedroom suite. Is this a suite? Okay. Um, so this is a two bedroom suite. So there's a bedroom in there, then a bedroom in there. Then, um, 
My aunt doesn't want to be on camera, so um, we're not going to get her on camera. But here's your, um, like a side table. And then LG flat screen TV. We're going to turn it on just for a second, if I can figure out. Oh, power, okay. If it works, oh, it's flashing. We're just going to turn it on just for a second so we don't get a copyright. Right there. Then here's a little, I guess this could be used as like storage or a dresser. Very nice. I really like the design of this. And then this room even has a fireplace, which is really nice for this time of year. Chair. And here's her couch. Some nice artwork. coffee table. Now we're going to go back here and get a view. So this face is the courtyard where we started. Alright. Close this. Now we're going to go look at the rooms. We're going to start with this room. Which this is like I've looked at the rooms already, and um, this, uh, in my opinion, is the guest bedroom. So let's get a look at it from out here. Look. I really like the blue wall behind the bed, the blue painted blue wall. But both of these rooms have bathrooms in them. And then here's your closet in here. Stuff. Yeah. Hey there. Nightstand. You have a phone. We're not going to pick it up because I think it automatically calls. Um. Front desk. That's the right word. That's the correct name. Oh, and then in here is. I think this is. Something similar. To, oh, that's the Bible there. Oh, there's that stuff. Some notepads. Then this is um one of my favorite features for when I'm in bed is um to have a electrical outlet. Two or two electrical house, whatever. I'm tired. I can't speak. Then here's the bed. You know, let's do a cleanliness check. So we'll pull this off, kind of. We're only gonna do a cleanliness check in this bed because this is going to be my room looks pretty good so far move the pillows see what's ew what's that I don't know it's probably just like a fuzz or something oh I am noticing uh it didn't vacuum back here very well there's like stuff on the floor Now we're gonna mattress itself looks pretty clean. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Oh, the door goes awfully close to the bed, but close the door. This light switch is for those lights. Here is your sink with towels, 
soaps. More soaps. Little washcloth rack outlet. Turn that on. Your fan. Let's actually turn on. Fan's a good noise level. Here's your bathtub. With your arched shower curtain, which is nice. You have an American Standard toilet, which I haven't flushed yet, so we're going to give it a flush. Three, two, one. Oh, it flushes two times. Wow, interesting. I guess we'll turn on the shower. Oh, I thought the shower was just going to be terrible. Alright, turn that off. Okay, it's off. Just drips a bit. Now, we're going to move on to, I think it's technically the master bedroom. Is your thermostat? Thermostat. Income. Income. Yeah. So here's the think the master bedroom. Technically the master bedroom. Oh, well, that's the same fire alarm that we have in our apartment. So we're not gonna do a cleanliness check on the bed and this bed, just because my aunt probably doesn't want me tearing apart her bed. Good view. Again, same view, basically. Oh, that over there is the Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. And here you have a nice desk. Oh, the chair looks like it's obviously seen better days. So does my hand. XD. White. Again, it has the outlets that I like. Phone. Very nice bed. I like I like the bed design with Marriott. Marriott's a good hotel company. Here's your TV. I forgot if I already showed that, but I guess you'll get to see it again. Another thing. Oh, here's your Timex alarm clock. Another thing I don't like the freaking circuit breakers in the freaking room, which kind of bothers me. Sink. This all uh, has this one has more counter space, which is another reason why it, this it makes me think this is the master bedroom. And here's your closet. Iron and or iron and iron board. Um coat hangers. Same soaps. Yeah, like the fixtures are the same as in the other bathroom. This bathroom is basically the same. I think it's a bit bigger. Get an arched shower curtain. Another, oh, this toilet seat's loose. Shower looks the same, so we don't need to turn it on. I guess we'll give the toilet a flush in this one. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh wow, this one flushes twice as well. Well, guys, I think that concludes our hotel tour. So that'll be it. Thanks for watching.